What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video. We started the day. Where's that? Lucy, you excited, buddy? Well, today was the snow day. I think you guys remember some of the previous videos we talked about uh, snow. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of snowing out here. It, we've got snow Mageddon right here. Um, they said it was supposed to be eight inches, and we maybe got an eighth of an inch. But um, when it's snowing out here, we were gonna take the uh, mini ripsaw out. You guys saw that. We were gonna take that guy out, but there's not enough snow. And so we're like, well, what do you do when there's just like an um, annoying amount of snow? No amount of snow. You can drift around, drive around, do anything. Uh, what do you do when it's snowing? It's really cold out actually right now. Um, you work inside. So that's why we have this nice, beautiful workshop that's actually heated. Are you excited? Let all the heat out. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. No, you're good. Well, that heater's get, it's like 60 in here. It feels yeah, great. It feels really you excited? It's nice, yeah. yeah. I mean, I really wish we could have taken the, the rips off. I mean, we can and just, look, we were ready. Like the eight inches, we were ready. We had that thing fueled up after we took care of business. We could take the rips off. We even brought the tank back to go play in the snow. We were ready for a fun day and these meteorologists still can't get it figured out. So um, we are gonna work on the boat today. You guys know we got a new boat. This is the brand spanking new River Rat. We have to put a bunch of stuff on it. We gotta get trolling motors on. Actually, we got a list, Banjo. Let's see that list. What do we, what's on the to-do list? Model. You hold it. We have to install the trolling motor. What's the circuit breaker, new circuit breaker? That's a, I don't know. 60 amp, 60 amp. I don't know. That's you don't do that? <laughs> no, okay, me neither. Install fish finder. I think I can do that. Batteries, maybe. We don't have that, but that's okay. We'll do that later. We have to mount a spare tire because you know us. We like to get flats. Yeah. Right now, we'd be MIA, so we have to do a spare tire. Install tie down straps. So there's already tie down straps, but they're Winnie Hot Junior oh, I can straps. Do that one. You're on tie <laughs> strap down duty. And uh, non skid tread. So actually, I'll show what we're talking about here. Basically, we're customizing this thing, getting it ready. These guys. Wait, it says no step. No step, slippery main. Is it no step because it's slippery? Is it no step because it's not made for? Isn't that the whole? It's slippery. Well, we're gonna fix that. Yeah. Okay, we'll get, someone get that sticker off there. So we're gonna put some non-skid tread here. I'm like, I thought that was the whole point, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it helps float a little, but. I, it literally says no step as yeah. if it's like not supposed to support weight. Yeah. I feel like that's the whole point of them. Anyways, so non-skid tread, tool holder, cutting board, rod holder. So I got a ton of accessories for the Versa track, which is this bad boy. So we can have a cutting board to cut all, all of our stuff on, rod holders. We're going on a paddle fishing trip, snagging paddlefish, one of my favorite trips of the season, of the entire year in this guy, so we have to get it ready for that. And we have three seats to install, which you'd think, well, how do you install it? We have to put it together, we'll grill it, we'll show you. And then a down rod, you guys will see that later. So we've got a ice fishing unit that we've used for ice fishing. Oh, it's right here, the pan optics. So the pan optics we use for ice fishing, and there is a rig that you can basically take the ice fishing unit and turn it into a open water unit without having to buy a new unit because we already, already spent the $3,000 or whatever for this. So instead of buying a new fancy little deal, we can basically make a DIY, but it comes with this. So this, the fishing specialties, they've got the actual legit, instead of using like a, you know, beefcake PVC, we want it to actually yeah. work. So we ordered it, we got a whole kit. These guys sell an entire kit and we'll show you how to put that together. Um, pretty, pretty simple stuff. So we can get this thing ready. That way we can see the paddlefish swimming down there and then, uh, you know, just give them, uh, you excited? Oh yeah. So we missing anything is there anything that you would do differently oh the other thing that i didn't i didn't show you guys they put snaps on here would you guys ever see when it wasn't so this thing just flapped in the wind oh, yeah. they put snaps on there look at you look at you, you guys hat. look at that so you put, and it snaps yeah. on there that's smart because before i was driving on the highway the thing was just flapping around dog what's your ready? dog what's she bringing piece, fetch up piece of wood fetch up what do you have fetch up that's a giant piece of wood. I didn't realize it was that big. What do you got that for, buddy? You having a good time? Okay, so I think we're we're pretty much good. Is there anything else you can think of that you would need if you were to con the boat? We, we know you, it's not drive, it's well, con. we need to replace this at some point. I was telling him about that. that. that Are thing. you gonna put your trucker? Yes, I want a trucker knob. We need yeah. to order that. And then we already broke that, so we gotta fix that at some point. These high quality bolts. That's a nice bolt, I like that From bolt. The first, the first load on the river. The maiden voyage. And it bent them. And we already broke it. So we gotta, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna beef it up. Why we're are gonna, they so, why are you? That's Weenie Hot Jr. That's for my 10 foot Johnny out there. This isn't for, this is a 20 foot, 72 inch wide giant. I mean, this one's still small, but it's way bigger. And that's a way smaller yeah. boat, like width wise. Yeah, I don't how know. Thick that bracket is yeah, yeah, no, the brackets, this is like a legit bracket. This thing's Weenie Hot Jr. Yeah. So we gotta, we're gonna fix that. Not, well, maybe today, but at some point we'll fix it. Anyways, this is the new rig. It's snowing outside, not enough snow to go play out and have fun. So we got the shop heated up. It's gonna be a work day on the new rig. Get it geared up, completely ready 
ready for our fishing trip with new fish finders. We can actually, you know, maybe not run aground. We can step on here. We got rod holders. We have to put a trolling motor on it. Lots of work to do. That is a plan today. So you guys stay tuned. Step number one, new trolling motor. Who this? We didn't get a super fancy one. They make all them autopilot self-controlled. I break things. I already broke the bunk, right? So we got the cheapest trolling motor I could find. It's still 36 volt, 112 pound. We gotta, we gotta take it's it on the heavy. river. You said is this that is the cheapest one? Well, I mean, what that's that, that's 36 volt. What do you mean? You didn't want to blow out? You got the iPilot and all? No, I don't need it. I can drive my, I can drive myself. I don't need the Tesla version of trolling motors. Uh, also like the inventory's pretty slim. Oh, look at these little rod holders. We gotta figure out what to do with those bad boys. All right, let me climb up in here. See what we're doing. So we gotta drill these little rivets out and pull this out, put a new, but he's 30 seconds into a video. I got a business call to do. You ain't talking to nobody. All right, so we gotta drill these guys out, pull this out, change this. Yeah, we gotta change that plug, right? Yeah, we gotta go to a 36 volt. This is, this is Weenie Hut Jr. That's uh, rigged yeah. for a 24. Yeah, that's. If you put that small, I think a 24 is gonna move this boat. No, it's especially on the river. Yeah. Not even gonna be close. So we're gonna pull this out, swap it, put in a 60 amp. 60 amp. Yeah, see, I remembered. 60 it. amp breaker, and then bolt this thing down. So this is this is gonna be step number one, phase number one. Get the trolling motor operational. So phase number two is we yank the fish finder off of our other boat fishing boat, our other river boat, so we don't need it. So we'll mount that. So we've got mounts and stuff with that. So with that being said, you guys enjoy. See the angle is a little whack. You're, you're giving it one of them, it's but I don't like a, one of these. I don't man. know. Is this is this boat made for a handheld or like a? I don't know if it's made oh. for a wee bob. We got it on there. We got uh, five out of six screws. Ain't bad. Yeah. We didn't have access to one. We locked tied two of them. So hoping for the best. Um, we, this is backwards. We got to flip this around. You don't like going backwards? No, I mean it's just Why? pointing back at you when you drop it in. We get it. Yeah, it is. You are going backwards. Yeah, we got to spin that proper. But out. either way, we got. She's on there. Troll motor's on. Now we gotta get the graph. So this graph like, it came from the old, the old boat. We use that a lot. Um, brand new, basically. And so we've uh, figured we don't need it on the other boat because we're probably gonna end up selling that boat. So if anyone wants a boat, let me know. But we're gonna probably put it here, kind of mount it. I guess, yeah, let me see that thing. So you thinking on this right side, sitting up. Yeah, so we got our ram out here. So we'll put it on that side, just like that. Yeah, so you can end up with we it. Kind of swivel it out. And this is all the way up. We can. Pull that down there. That'll look good. Later. So you're driving, <clears throat> cruising, and then you got your graph. So you don't run aground. It's nice to look at maps, especially when you're on the river. Still see it. So what we got to do now is take this drill, drill a hole right here, fish the wire. We got to fish tape right here. Fish the wires under the boat through here back to the batteries, and we have to fish the other one back up and through. If you wanted to make it easy, you could you could always put a little battery down there, but we'll do it right. We'll hook it all up to the cranking battery like you're supposed to. So you can see we open this up, expose all that. So Drill the hole, fish the wires, we'll get her mounted, should be good to go. Keep going, and then under the divider. Alright. I see spray foam right here. Straight down. No, the it's, yeah, but it's, that's but just, like, that's just a chunk. I wonder if we're hitting that though. I wonder if that's what's causing us to spool she up. Just go you think it would just, just roll off, off it, but yeah. it's hitting something. Oh, oh there it is. Standard. Okay, I see it. Keep, keep, go ahead and push. Going, keep doing that. Let's see if we can go all the way now. Let's just try it. I'm just gonna push still it. Still zooming pretty good. It's getting close. We're getting close. Can I get down there? Austin's reaching for it. It's gotta be close. Yeah, it's gonna put this buckling up here so I can try to pull it back out. Oh, oh, what's this? Does it feel like flat wire? Flat metal. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got it. Money. We got it. Banjo's yeah. got it. Banjo to the rescue. Oh. All right. I don't ever want to do that again. No, I know. So we need to attach two. We need rope. We need to double. Two. So do, do the cable and rope, and then when we pull it, you attach the rope to the next cable and then and pull, pull the rope. Yeah. And then we, but we want to leave the rope though. So we need two ropes. Uh, yes, double. Right? We need double. Well, we got the tape ran. So what we're gonna do, so we're trying to do it professional and run the cables through under the boat. So we had to fish that tape, as you guys saw that. And then that's the tape, that's the end of the tape. And then we need to run the transducer cable up, but we need to run the power cable back. And then you want to leave 
just a rope attached to the whole thing. So if you ever need to feed a new cable, then you can do that. So we're cutting two 10 foot pieces of rope, attaching it to the tape with the transducer cable. We'll pull it all back through. Once it comes through, we'll take one of the rope, attach it to the power cable, pull that rope back through, and then there'll be one rope left. So we should be good to go. All right, go ahead and guess. We're rolling. See, so watch the good end come out. We'll be all happy. Hopefully, you can trust go. somebody's tape job. <laughs> that's good. No, that's no, no, me. No. Oh, no, oh I wanted to blame Jay. Right here. Tape on that. There you go. That's what we're talking about, boys. All right. We can cut that sucker loose. There there here, we're on there. Banjo's little talent. Here and one on the outside. <laughs> Hands are in his hands. He's just There's nothing wrong with that. Slayman has got that. mittens, dude. Yeah, he's, he's got a little hands. His thumbs are like yeah, that. His thumbs are that wide. So don't. My yeah. hands are normal. Come here, man. Get those big, little big hands over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're close. You're close. Yep, got it. Oh, yeah. Eagles landed. All right, go ahead and pull on it, Banjo. Yeah. Wrong one. There you yeah, go. There you go. Keep, you keep her going. Keep her going. Keep her going. It's stuck on oh, something. I see it. You're you mean just pull it all the way out? You're gonna have to get your arm back. Yeah, you gotta give it some relief. <laughs> you kidding me? Sorry. Can I go ahead and pull? No, it's stuck. You're gonna have to pull it back out and retake it, Andrew. And you made it too fat. All right, go ahead, Banjo. Pull it. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, now try it. Where you hung on like a little. There you go. Down. There you go. <laughs> That'll hold a lot. You like that one? That was good. One. All right. Where's that giraffe, Banjo? See my fisher here. Things feels hollow. Hang on. Too tall. All right, that's good. You like this? Yeah. Oh, uh, not that. No. Auto trim. Yeah. Ah, and it should stop, right? No. It's just gonna keep going. Let's go for it. Just burn it up. Yeah. Nice. This definitely was designed. No. For that. No, this is good too. I like that. You know, you know what, you know what gear you're in. Finder. Check. What's next on your list, Banjo? Spare tire? Spare tire, install down straps, non-skid. What's what are you doing? I'm heat shrink tubing this. Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that fancy? That's or? the right way to do it so that that stuff doesn't come apart when you're going flying across the water. You don't want that, do you? Nobody's wanting that. We, so we need spare tire. Yeah. Yeah, spare tire. And the boat tie downs the boat and yeah. non skid. And then we got all the tools and then the down rod. Yep. I think it's time for launch. You guys get some work done out there? I, got, I was on frozen pizza duty. Hey, what'd you get done? We got to Mike did the tire. Sheesh! And then you gotta go back there for everything else. Okay. Oh, I like these. Man, those are actually pretty sticky. No more slipping. Look at this, though. This is the deal. Because they automatically retract, yeah. right? Yeah. That's neat. That's a lot. It makes so, it better than the other Will that always stay on the boat? Yes. yes. Oh. Yeah. Not on the boat, on the trailer. First, on the trailer, yeah. not on the boat. Yeah. I'll set that down. Yeah, so you go, and then you, I think there's usually a grab. Pull it all the way up towards you. Oh, this one's different. And then, this. Look at that. That's different. I've never seen that Just before. Just like that. No slipping, spare tire, straps. Somewhat cold frozen pizza. Lukewarm. It's not bad. So, we actually got quite a bit done. Did that finder work? Yep. Look at that. We're ready for the water. Well, not yet. We got the rod holders, cotton boards, a lot of the little accessories. And like I said, then we'll show you like that down rod, which is how we're gonna take our ice fishing unit, turn it in for open water. So, you guys stay tuned. Phew, look at these accessories. We are ready. We got the Guggen Toolkit. Boom. We got some bonus ones too. And we also got some bonus. We got some rod holders. This is for our, our trip. Look, what? <laughs> you wanna come up? You can come up here. I can't, there's no way I'm squatting you from here, so I have to get down and get you. But then we got these bad boys. It's just to hold your knives and pliers and hang up your lures, a little dangle kit. Same thing with this. Let's also hold the old beverage. Knives and scissors and all that. We got a Another cup holder. And what do you got over there? You got a little, a little cutting board. A little cutting board. So that hangs off the side of the boat. Bait. So we can cut up all of our bait and then basically kick the, you know, the rest of it out. So then we don't mess up the boat. Look at that. It has a knife holder and everything. Put your knife right there. I like that. How's that going? You getting it? I'm spinning around for you. Ty put it in backwards. Ty had it this way. No, I just no, put it in there to it. hold it. That's, I, like, no, that's, how you, that's how you do it. So is, that, is it working or is it not working? It, you, gotta, you, gotta get you gotta line up the nipple. So if we're thinking where we want these bad boys, do we want, well, should we grab this? We should yeah. maybe put the seats in, do you think? If you're, I'm oh, thinking when we're snagging, are we sitting? And we got the poles going. Lu Lu Lucy! Why do you want up here so bad? Come here, Lucy. Okay. Come here, Lucy! Oh. <laughs> Hi, pooch. You bringing Lucy paddle fishing? Good God. There's room for her. Yeah, I said she just hangs out. She, she'd, get, she'd go on with the spoon, Bill. 
you think, buddy? Hey, buddy. Should you be the travel dog? What about that one? Four million. Billy. Billy. Billy's pissed. Billy. I can't lift you, Billy. Billy. Too big. We can't, we can't squat. No, <laughs> Billy, we can't squat you. There's no way. Like lined up with this, well, or I guess that's what we got to figure say out. Someone was sitting here. Should we throw the seats in here? I was just to say, maybe let's hand the seats up. Billy, you can't come up here. You're too big. There's no. Is there three seats? Yeah. Oh no, we'll probably sit in the back. Yeah, put one there. How's that? Another one. Matching camo. Oh, I see. Gotcha. There. Let's out. Oh, these are great. Yeah. We're only gonna have probably three lines in the line. Three lines is safe. Four is getting risky. So the one that's straight out the back, someone's got to be here. And then you could have the other guy out that side, and then the other one up front and out the other side, so they could sit in that middle seat. So that way it's like Whoa. the rod holder mount in that back corner can point straight mm -hmm. here. Oh, you're like right, like right here, and it can yeah. point straight this way, yeah. and then this guy's gonna go out. That's not a bad idea. No, I mean, so are you gonna be driving yeah. and doing it? So, no. Well, three guys fishing, one driver. Okay. So if you angle this one like that, so it was kind of like back here by the motor. Yeah, that might work. I think so. And then like one on the side, straight out. Yeah. Something like that. That might work. So that'd be the sh straight out the back, so you don't have to hold it. And then one out this, I would say whatever side this is on, should the front one should be over there. And then the other guy can have it just out the side here. Yeah, you, if you could get, I don't know if we can get away with four, we could try it. Well, no, not four lines. Uh, I'm just saying have four lines. Have four, 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 four holders, so either way. So you're saying basically put one here, one there, one there, and one there. Yeah. And then either way. Okay, all right, let's do that. Back. So go ahead and start sliding it in from yep. up there. We'll stick it right here. Oh, hey dog, yeah, how you doing? So no front chair? We, no, we can pull one up there. I don't I don't expect anyone to really be sitting there, you know, while we're fishing. Yeah. Because I feel like two in the back is gonna make the most sense. If your lines are out the back, you're gonna have a driver and somebody somebody manning the front. So yeah. but we can put it up there. Oh, All right. Slide it down. About like that. Just like that. So be sitting here, keep an eye on that one. Or that one. Depending on what we want to do. We could adjust it, but all right, so let's get this guy there then. Yeah, go ahead and get the other ones. I'll start working on these guys. A million dollar question. Is will it hold it? You get a 110 pounder out of grand. I bet your drag will, will break. You or you make, will so it'll be loose. important your drag is somewhat loose. Somewhat loose. Yeah, I agree. Because if you get a, I had a 78 before, so if you get a 78 on there, you better have your drag. Imagine this Roger. Right in the water. Gone. Somebody cast for it. Okay, and we can put the other uh, box on the other side. Oh, that, yeah, 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 that's this good. one, like, here? Okay. Yeah, I can set this you one do this one? Yep. Whoever ran this little track, give you guys credit. This makes life pretty darn easy. Is it because it, it's boogered up? That's why. See that? Oh, yeah. There's a little booger. Yep. So I have to come in from somewhere else. That's there's a it's all blurred up right there. Oh, but we can really? fix it. But wait, that won't come through there. Not the other way. So I, you see, I'm like, like I can yes, I can slide this, but I can't get this one over there. Oh, well, can I rotate it? What do we do? Like I this. guess if I do that, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Now, now he's got to figure it out. All right, tighten this bad boy up. You got a dr another uh, drink holder banjo? Yeah. Probably up front, huh? If I'm running the troll motor and you want to... Yeah. Yeah, we'll put the drink holder way, way up front here if you're running the troll motor. Boom. And then... Where are you thinking cutting board at? I'd say if I was to flay fish... Right in the back. I would say up front. Like, well, so your bait tank is where he's at. Mm -hmm. if, you ha if you actually have bait. Mm. Right so, there, basically, you just got to pick a side. Whatever side you... It's up to you. Wherever your knife and everything's going to be, closer to that. Well, this has knife holders. Okay. So they might be in... Yeah, they all have... We got. We can put, like, 12 knives on this <laughs> thing. Like, you, you can be you'd be strapped up with the knives. I'm thinking... What do you think? I mean, <clears throat> what do you since get? you're lefty, you're going to be the one cutting it. For filming-wise, if someone sat here filming that way, you're not blocking their view. If the, if the cutting board's on that side. Yeah. All right, here. Hey, you're thinking... For a knife. filming standpoint. So we got to screw these in still? Yeah, the screw Let's screw a little Ziploc. So it's, it's designed to be, like, this. Yeah, I would. Flip I would flip it you so, want your, so you can scrape you your, want your guts goo. out there. Oh. Yeah, you want your goo going out yeah. that way. But it's it's I it's I supposed to do this. Yeah. I would mount it. So I would just put it in the middle. So you, if we say, hey, that was a bad idea, we can just flip, flip it. it. But if it was me, I would do this. So if you're cutting it up, if you got like a tail that you're not going to use, you can just shoot it off in the water. That's good thinking. So maybe put it right in the middle, just so it's a little bit more universal. I wouldn't put a lot of weight on it. I can see, like, I can see how much yeah, it's, it's, it's just like barely. barely. Uh -huh. But so that's for a cutting board, so. Yeah. yeah. I think this is the coolest thing, the cutting board. Oh, yeah. I think you could put your little grill on here, too, if you wanted to. Yeah. Oh, you have to unlock them. 
Yeah, there you go. Now it should be uh, right. Now lock him. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Yeah. See, then you can keep it out of your way. Oh, oh. Right. now look, we're getting we're getting fancy with it now. That's slick. All right, so you got that, and then there you go, banjo. You got that. You got a pair of pliers. So put pliers, scissors on each side of the boat. So we'll go over here. Pliers, scissors, your scale, and your clip-ons. Easily accessible. Yeah. You're good to go. I think that's it. We got everything. Troll motor is good. Graph done. Spare tire no slip. Seats holders. Cleaning, rod holders, beer holder. Oh, no, no, you're not done. Oh, we but got, wait, we got there's a more. Oh, wait, there's you. one more. You got one more thing. Yeah. You got a surprise. Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Captain. Yeah. There you go. Check that out. Yeah. Jeez. We're going to be whipping. <laughs> little trucker nub. I feel sorry for the boys in the boat, man. They're going to be like <laughs> burning cookies. Oh, it's, uh, it's already bad with not having backs on. The seats, you yeah. gun it and you go flying if you're not paying attention. <laughs> you go through with that once. All right, we got one more thing. Uh, the down rigger, the down rod. Oh, oh. So we can actually see the fish, we can catch them. Shoo! All right, well, we just got this thing put together. It's really not overly complicated, but it's our, I wouldn't call it DIY, but it's just, it turns an ice fishing unit into a non-ice fishing unit. So you've got this pole, you feed your electronics, actually, this way, attach this, it attaches to the Versa track here, and you can spin it, and now you've got panoptics in your boat. If you're already excited, this is just an ice fishing unit, and instead of buying a whole new unit, you've got this. So you wire it up, sit in the, oh, I move my, should I move my Straight Papaw in. chair? Put it in there. I didn't put like caulk in there. What'd you put in there? I didn't do anything. Like what was the white stuff? <laughs> Oh, that's, that's there, man. We didn't put that in there. That's just lube? Yeah. Okay. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Freaking Loctited the seat. <laughs> it ain't going nowhere. Hold it in there forever. And I can steer, find the fish, come over, run the trolling motor, come back, find the fish, catch the fish. You like that? Yeah. You look like you were meant for it. How deep is it right here? 52. Oh, that's really? degrees. Uh. This is zero. That works. Now it's to forward. Okay. You got a little bit of heat right there. Oh, oh I it's see. Moving yeah. something right there. That's Jake's butt. Bring me that thing, Major. Major, go lay in front of it. Are you looking at it? <laughs> nothing. What is it? It's a cheese. Why aren't we seeing nothing? Or you you know how to work this sucker? Yeah, yeah. Oh. that's how you work it. It's because it's not in water. Spit on it. Here, let's do a flasher. There you go. Oh, there you go. You got one coming in. <laughs> You're going to get there. <laughs> yeah, this oh. thing's made for water, I think. You think so? Yeah. But it works. So we got it hooked up. We just got to basically attach that depending if we want to go. You can do down scan or forward facing, but for paddle fishing, we'll probably put it in the back and shoot out back so we can actually see our dipsies, see all the paddle fish get. And we're ready. We got, I mean, look at this thing. We got boom, 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 boom. I mean, I feel like we got a lot done. It's only, it's only two, 220, man. We got a lot done. You big date tonight. You still can make it. So oh, yeah. congrats. Uh, but anyways, boat's done. Let us know what we're missing. What don't, what didn't we put on here that we should have to have ready? We got fire extinguisher, so that's good. Lucy, we, we gonna take you fishing, buddy? Yeah, you would enjoy it. You just get, you'd get hooked though. That's, that's the only problem. But all the accessories, I think we're good. I think we're ready, literally. Oh, we gotta put that. We couldn't end up with a trolling motor we never got to get fixed because the plug did not fit on the eight, eight gauge wire. New plug, no big deal, re rivet it. We will be good as new. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it wasn't anything super crazy special, but it is still, in fact, snowing right outside there. So there's really not much to do. Not enough snow to play in it, but enough snow for us to not just go hang out outside and have a good time. So we gotta get the electronics going, gotta get the batteries in here, and we are ready to hit the road and snag some giant spoonbill. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in the next one, and peace. Yeah.